Let's try another example and see what happens here. Here we're taking 4,472 divided by 72. So again, as we start working through this, we have to start with our divisor and trying to figure out digit by digit, you know, where we have to start. So will 72, will it divide into 4? No. Will it divide into 44? No, it's too small. Will it divide into 447? Well, yes, it will. So we're trying to figure out how many times will 72 go into 447. It may go in evenly, it may not, and that's all right. So here again, just to kind of get a little middle ground, I always like to start with 5. So 5 times 2 would be 10, and 5 times 7 would be 35, plus 1 is 36. Well, that's close, but we might be able to get a little bit closer. What if we tried 72 times 7? Let's see, 7 times 2 would be 14. 7 times 7 would be 49, plus 1 is 50. Okay, now that's too large. So maybe we try 72 times 6. Uh, 6 times 2 would be 12. Uh, 6 times 7 would be uh, 42, plus 1 is 43. So 432 is as close as we're going to be able to get. Since I am dividing that into 447, we have to line up our digit right on top of that last digit. So now 6 times 72, we multiply diagonally, is 432, and now we're going to subtract. So 2, minus, or 2 from 7 would be 5, and 3 from 4 would be 1. So, and then 4 minus 4 is nothing, so that's our um, finished subtraction there. Now we haven't used our 2, so we have to drop our next digit and begin again. So now we're trying to figure out how many times will 72 go into 152. Well, we know 5 is twice as big as what we need. So maybe let's try 72 times 2 and see what that gives us. Let's see, 2 times 2 would be 4. And 2 times 7 would be 14. Well, that's pretty close. So 144 would be 2 times 72. So I'm going to say, okay, it'll go in there two times, keeping it nice and lined up, you know, on top of that last digit. 2 times 72 is 144. And when we do the subtraction, I'm going to have to borrow because we can't take 4 away from 2. So if I borrow from the 5, and if I add this as 10 ones, now that's really a 12. So 12 minus 4 would be 8. And 4 minus 4 is 0. 1 minus 1 is 0. We don't have any other numbers here, to our digits, to be able to to bring down, so we're done at this point. This is our remainder, or how many we have left over. So we write our answer as 62 with a remainder of 8. Now when we check things with a remainder, we have to do it um, just a, a one more step. First thing we're going to do is multiply the 62 times the 72. So I'm going to do that here on the side. Um, 2 times 2 would be 4. 2 times 6 would be 12. And then multiply 7 times each of the digits. 7 times 2 would be 14. 7 times 6 would be 42. Plus 1 is 43. So when we add these, we get 4, 6, 4, 4. Now that's almost what our dividend was supposed to be. When we multiply, we have not accounted for that remainder yet. So our last step is we always have to add the remainder. So 8 plus 4 would be 12, 6 plus 1 would be 7, and then we have 4 and 4. So 4,472, it checks.